Hey Luke here from CatsAndCarp.com and I'm going to show you how to catch one of my favorite fish in the world, the Arctic Grayling. On my recent trip to Alaska, my brother and I drove the Denali Highway in central Alaska and we stopped along the way and fished for one of my favorite fish ever, Arctic Grayling. Arctic grayling are found in almost every river, stream, and pond in central and northern Alaska, and a few places in southern Alaska as well. You can also find Arctic grayling in a few places in the lower 48 and in most Arctic countries. Ah, uh, I haven't fly fished for grayling in forever. One of my favorite fish to catch on a fly. So we're gonna see if there's any in here, but this is a good looking spot. My favorite rod to catch grayling on is a four weight sage fly rod. I also have a Ross reel I really like with some floating line. And for flies, I'm using elk hair caddises, mosquitoes, and royal coachmen between sizes 18 to 20. Oh, there he is! Yay! Oh, you got it. Finally. Yeah. Where's the net? Where's the net? Look at this. Isn't this a beautiful fish? Oh, they are so gorgeous and they are just amazing fun on a dry fly. These Arctic grayling grow really slow. They grow about one inch a year. And uh, this is a very nice sized one. I'd say this is slightly above average. That's the first Arctic grayling I've caught in many years and it was just as awesome as I remember. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more of those. I can see the grayling down in here. The water is so crystal clear. I bet if I stick my GoPro down in the water, you guys will be able to see him too. Look, gorgeous. Switched over from an elk hair caddis to a mosquito pattern. Okay, so my brother doesn't have a fly rod with it. Well, he doesn't have his fly reel with him. So if you got spinning gear and you wanna do this, what we've got is an Ugly Stick GX2, uh, an ultralight. I've got a Fluger ultralight. I've got four pound line. And then I've just put a little bobber or strike indicator so you have something with enough weight to cast. And then about 24, 30 inches down, there's a number 20 dry fly. And that is how you fly fish with the spinning rod. Okay, got it, got it. Tip up, tip up, give me tip up high. Nice. Is a good or a better one? One hundred percent ransom, right? No. Mm, yeah, I... No. <laughs> Look at the colors on these fish. Are they not just incredibly gorgeous? Fishing for grayling in streams, it's all about reading the current. You've got this great spot where you've got the main current coming down here. You've got this side feeder stream coming in and kind of deep slack water right in here. Most of our hits have been either in this little feeder stream, the current along the side of the main stream, and down here right between the fast water and the sl slow water. Those seams in between fast water and slow water are always good. I get all excited. <laughs> That's good. 
This has just been amazing. But uh, we've got to go get set up. We've got 40 miles yet to travel, so better get back on the road. This is a lovely diversion. We didn't, didn't like that one because they hooked him up. Feel a little better? Yeah. Good. Good marshmallow, Tom? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make you one. Well, it's uh, 6.30 in the morning and I'm the only one up. So, uh, I'm going to go do a little fishing here. Let everybody wake up on their own time. This looks promising. One of the fun things about grayling is they love to take a dry fly so much that you can often create hatches by simply beating the water enough times and getting other fish to rise you can come to an area where no fish are rising and you start slapping the, the fly on the water and before you know it there's a there's a hatch going on and the fish are just churning up the water there we go nice You know, they're just an amazingly beautiful fish. Let's get you back in the water. We used to come here all the time as kids. Uh, about once a year, our family would take the motor home up here. We'd camp and pick blueberries and catch grayling. When I think about this place, I think about eating homemade pancakes that my mom would make with blueberries we picked the day before. This right here is what I would call a textbook good looking spot. You've got a lake with a creek dumping in. That creek has higher oxygen levels, and so the trout and grayling like to congregate right up in here. Well, there's no trout in this lake, but there are plenty of grayling, so we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna fly fish with them at first, and then if I can't get anything, I might switch to the spinning rod to get a little better distance. When you're hitting a spot like this, always start closest to you, okay, and start upstream and move your way down. The reason for that is you don't want to scare fish, okay? If you hook a fish, you, can, you want to catch the ones that are closest to you first, so you don't scare the ones that are further away. And you want to start upstream at the top of the hole because that's where the big boys are, and you want to catch them first. You don't want to scare away big boys by catching little ones at the bottom of the pool. Overall, fly fishing is probably the best way to catch grayling, but in a big lake like this, where you need some casting distance, Having a spinning rod can really help. So just for kicks, I'm gonna switch over to a super duper uh, on the spinning rod and see if we can't uh, catch a few grayling with that. If you're gonna be fishing for grayling with spinning gear, here are two of the lures you should get. You get the smallest super duper you can get and a size zero maps of any color. They got silver, gold, and all sorts of different colored blades. This size, might work on a really big grayling, but this is getting too big. All of these lures will only work with bigger, you know, 10 to 12 inch plus grayling. But uh, they do work and they work very well. Well, I'm gonna switch from a uh, super duper to a uh, MEPS and see if that doesn't help. I like using these little quick releases. There we go. Woo! Oh, he got such stinking small mouths, and he's got all three barbs in him. Jeez. Okay, let me get my forceps out. Oh, look at that! Got him out. All right, let's let him go. That takes me back, man. That's old school for me. This is how I grew up fishing, right here. Well, it's been about an hour. I should probably make one or two more casts, then uh, head back to camp and see if everyone's awake by now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. These Arctic grayling are amazing to catch. I absolutely love catching them on a dry fly. 
If you ever get a chance, come up here to Alaska, fly fish for Arctic grayling. If you like this video, don't forget to check out more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. We put out multiple videos every week, so don't forget to click subscribe.